Hey folks, I'm Trevin Glory, and welcome to part 27 of my campaign as a Seleucid Empire in Total War Rome 2. So we're about to go and attack Marib. It's held by Gerea. Uh, so the plan is to take both of these settlements from them, knock them out. We're also going after Gera to take that from the Bactrians, if we can. So, but we'll go ahead and we'll fight this battle straight away. No sense hanging around. So you can move to there. Waiting for more orders. We'll have you fortify just because. And you can come and attack. What treaties do we have? They broke the non-aggression pact with me. We don't have trade. So that's rubbish. Uh, never mind, we're going to do it anyway because I don't really care. It shall be if that as long as desire. Egypt aren't too annoyed by it. To we'll go ahead just with the assault. Oh, well, actually, wait a minute. If it's a, it's a walled settlement, I suppose. But we have the ladders. Don't want to wait a turn. No. Maybe I should. They've got an awful lot of troops in there. And they look like they might be decent quality, so yeah, let's... Go, Kenny. Yeah, we'll go with more ladders and we'll continue the siege. Okay, disappointment. I wanted a battle. Uh, up here. Well, let's have... Well, we know that they don't have any more armies around there. The uh, Bactria did have a couple of armies up here. There's one, there's that tether. So I think they were involved in the a battle with Muscat down here last time. No, I don't want you to assassinate. Let's have you push south. I was thinking they could be heading up here. If they are, that's okay. Let's get you down here. And can you force match? Get down there too. Right, so this army, too much cav for a defensive army, but you're fine where you are. Let's continue this How may I serve you? Uh, actions against this agent. We can now assassinate and we've got a 50-50 chance. That'll do. Oh, that's right, we lost the region up there. Yeah, of course, have a nice big army here. No sign of the Bospring Kingdom. So, yeah, we need to keep those two armies there. Or do I? No, I think what I'm going to do is 
bring this army into Edessa. You can come and stand in here instead. You fortify in there. Right. So we're now losing 4,000 per turn. Nothing to be done there. Yeah, and I was planning to do more military. I think we'll have to. We don't need the chariot units. Yeah, I think we're going with them. Yep, let's go for the cataphractoi. And yeah, Egypt love me. Bosporan Kingdom love me as well now. So can we get trade with you, please? May Hermes bless us both with no? skillful tongues that we may speak our parts well, and so reach a you speak well and with conviction. While your rhetoric is sound, the sub. That's unfortunate. Because I do need the income. Can't trade with anybody else. Okay. So. We'll continue just now. I'm not going to put up tax. Still 0% risk, 76%. So we're okay there. Uh, we are destitute. We don't own a single province. We need to rectify that. But anyway, time to end the turn. Where's the slave uprising? Romans no, we're not having that. People. Perhaps your decision is wise and courageous, or foolhardy. Jupiter will show us truth when he is ready. Interesting that they've left this army behind. You gonna attack Edessa? It's a better force than you did the last time, obviously. So we need to go ahead and fight this then. So we'll set up off camera and we'll bring you guys back when the Battle ready to begin. So here's our setup. Uh, Odessa is obviously a familiar setting for us. Uh, the enemy is even coming in and along the same approach roads as they used the last time. So we've got our stakes and cal troops out here. They don't have much cav. Um, but then we've got the uh, pit traps, spike traps, back in here. So hopefully they'll just follow up these two roads and the, I think only the general units cav. Um, and then infantry push up into the traps. Plenty of stakes over here, just in case the calf comes around this direction. Um, but we're blocking off the two side roads here, with barricades, as well as along the two main approach roads. And over on the left, uh, I don't think anything's coming in that direction, but we've blocked it anyway. So, plan is to try and get the enemy through into here, um, and burn in the brimstone pits. And we're defending behind there, so the uh, skirmish the skirmishers will shoot at the enemy as they come in up to the barricades, and then they'll set fire to the pits and pull back. And we've got 
similar setup on each side with some pikemen who will push in on the flanks of the, the enemy wants to get into this position and you get blocked off by the pikes there. So spread out right across there so I'm hoping that they will come in down these two roads. You are in pike phalanx here. And these guys should be as well. Okay, so just wait and see what happens then. Looks like they are all heading in. Maybe not that one. They might come up the flank, but the rest all do seem to be heading in the centre. And the general's the only cav unit, right enough. So hopefully they'll come in these two roads. Looks like the cab's not coming in though. Well, maybe it is. Hopefully see them die on the stakes. And these guys just making their way through. The cab are coming in. And I couldn't set up across here. I couldn't put barricades across there, but the infantry or the, the cab can ride through it. They call cheating there. But let's see how many of you die here. About 40%. So you guys start shooting, if you would. Don't move out there. Just stay where you are and shoot. No, don't come back. Okay, that's better. Uh, you've taken a few casualties, but obviously not very much. Cav down to fifty percent, forty percent, and there is one unit coming in the flank there. More guys coming into this barricade, and nice. oh, we've dead. killed the general already. Good, you guys uh, sit out of these pits. Well, yeah, line up here. Wait until they come through the barricades or start to come through. Um, yeah, just keep shooting at them just now. They're not flooding through the gap. We're not doing too much damage with the skirmishers, missile troops in general. So, set fire to the pits now that they're getting close. And, yeah, they're breaking through on the right as well. You're setting fire to these pits on... Uh, yeah, you are, sort of. So, pull back. There's a whole host of men coming through now. In these pits, most of them are aflame. Okay, so... Yeah, you guys, let's keep shooting. These guys are on Pike Phalanx, so we're ready to receive the charge. See how it goes. We've got some brimstone pits on fire there as well. So they've taken about. what? Uh, about a fifth. 20% damage, roughly. You're doing okay, so let's get you steady. Over here, why are you not shooting? The battle is turning in our favour. Everyone shoot into the mass. And here you're you've been hammered by their uh, archers or skirmishers. Let's get you steady and you guys um they need to hold off these guys at the barricade. So you just stay where you are then and you go to steady stands too. Over here, nothing coming around this flank. Uh, should I send these guys forward? Probably. It would be better than standing there getting shot. The men are wavering. So let's get both of the pike units forward. Uh, you shoot into the back of the throck tie over there. And there's nothing here at all, so this unit as well. 
Let's get you marched into the centre. Um, Cav, let's get you out. I come around here and you. No, don't go that way. Come around this direction. Our general is under attack. General, where are you? Come back here. Okay, so we seem to be holding okay in the centre for now. Some of their units are beginning to break. Keep shooting. And you all should be in skirmish mode. Okay, Cav, come right round to the rear here. You were on this flank. Uh, you do the same sort of thing. Head up here. Uh, well, we can't charge through because of the stakes. So, uh, just come up here then. Right. Uh, here. You are getting wasted in there, actually. This unit backing up you, come up here at those skirmishers. The cav, uh, or the stakes up here as well. Of course, they didn't get wrecked by their cav charging through, did they? So my cav is going to have to stay out in this, the outskirts of the city or the settlement. Um, you uh, break down the barricade so you can get forward here. Can you? Uh, come around here then. Are oh, you going to come through the barricade now? Well, oh, come up to the and the centre, we're still in pretty good order, and they've pretty much broken. Ready for order. Hit them. Not many of you left. What's this cav doing in here, though? Right, you guys, come in and hit them in the rear. Finish them off. You, yeah, try and catch those skirmishers, you as well. You, who you, you can... She's down them. So, yeah, in fact, go and don't shoot it well. And melee mode only attack them. Over here. Over for those guys. You uh, come up. Let's see anybody else fleeing over here. Just go for them. You as well. Come up here. Just try and wipe them all out. Uh, back here, this unit still only lost two men. We lost 40. Despite being behind the barricade. Maybe a lot of that was to skirmishers though. Probably to friendly fire. So let's get you up here quickly. You... Is there anybody you can chase? You're fleeing... Uh, Eperins, they will get quite a lot over there. General, come out here. And you, after the Throcotai there, for now. We've got... Uh, can we bring one of you guys back down here? Because I think there's three or four units in here. So you, head down here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. And you in position yet? Not yet, no. Can't just go in anyway. We've only lost three men. Need to go in there and thrash them. Okay, what have we got left out here? Who, who are you chasing? Uh, 18 men there. Well, you, that's the same 18 men probably. Can you get a move on? Get down here quickly. And there's a victory. We'll continue. Keep running them down. Yeah, go after the 54, 66 there. You. Um, yeah, stay on them for now. 
Where's this other cab? There it is. Get into them. They shouldn't. Uh, oh, it's gone now. It's fleeing. So chase them down. And we've got you. You can come over here and get them as well. There's only 36 of them left. So they melted quite quickly in the end. Right, in general, go after them. Eminent 41 here. That change made you get them. And the cav can go after these guys. Throw could die, 50 of. Okay, let's fast forward. There's only these few units left now. Um, 17 was that? Looks like they're uh, 33. Right, 12 there. These guys, 27, 25. Over here. Still got 50, so keep on them. Up here, you're finished, I think. So it's just these guys over here. And so we've got still a few there, 36. So you go and help out. And you now try and go after them. We can bring this calf back, I suppose, if we can find them again. Where are they? They're, uh, yeah, you. Oh, they've disappeared. Did they get off? Yeah, okay. In the battle, close victory is fine. Um, it's not actually that close. But we have wiped out the majority of their units. Maybe one archer unit, one Throkitai got off. You get good kills in their archers and the rest of the army didn't really get into the battle very much. Apart from the cav in general. Still not convinced about these guys here, they didn't do many casualties. Um, I suppose they weren't really in the fighting that much. But still, um, not convinced at all. Okay, so uh, let's kill the captives. We did wipe out the whole army. Hopefully that will encourage likes of Bospering Kingdom to improve their opinion of me by killing their mutual enemy. Okay, Gurea, you want me to pay you for peace? I don't think we'll accept that offer. Um, Mascar, well, we're not going to accept this anyway, but I think there must be war with Mascat. Noble Death, who died? I can't remember, did we lose our general in that last battle? I know he was under attack, but I don't think he died. Okay, we've got a slave uprising. Uh, not the greatest of troops, levy spearmen and uh, tribes people. We've only got our garrison, 
but um, yeah, I think we should be able to deal with these guys. Yeah, the cav should definitely give us a, a real edge. But I'm going to fight that in the next part. So for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And hope to see you again next time. Cheers.